We're talking almost heroes mm -hmm. with uh, our heroic uh, quartet here. Woo. Yes, woohoo, woo, heroes. Um, so I guess let's start with the Bellevilles. Okay, oh, sure. How the hell did this happen? Who the hell gave you a television? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That's just insanity. We ask ourselves that like every day. Well, we, we, we've, we've been working together for a long time and yep. we... we uh, uh, now you are brothers. We have not like you're married. <laughs> no, no. We, no. we have been brothers like all, all of my life. Yeah, absolutely. And most of his. And, uh, um, so, we, so we decided not to be a couple. We decided not to be a couple. We thought that would be wrong. <laughs> and um, that's pretty much it. But we've been trying to work together for years. Uh, we've, we had a couple things. We sold one thing to Comedy Central, another thing to Comedy Network, and we've been kicking around some ideas and uh, talked to Shaw one day. Uh, and, and Yeah, we went, we went and we, like, we spoke with a showcase and, and pitched them the idea. And they were like, that's great, we love it. And it was such a nice, refreshing moment to have them, somebody so on board yeah. uh, saying yes right, right from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And then we, we wrote the script, and they had some great input, uh, and E1 had some great input, and then we kept yeah. moving forward. And at no point was there ever a headache. We were never going, ah! No. It just sort of, the no, show... No, nobody, else, nobody didn't get it. Everybody got the show. Everybody got yeah. what we were trying to do. Everybody understood it, even at times when we didn't. And, and, we, and, and they let us, we did some very silly stuff. We went... We did some really over the top stuff, and yeah. they're always like, "Yeah, great." They let us, they let us uh, make the show we really wanted to make. And, and it was, was pretty amazing. ambitious too. Like we were, we were swinging for the fences, and, and it, it, we just, you know, they, they gave us enough rope we could have hung ourselves. There's so right many now. ways things can go wrong. People so on fire, many you know, yeah. giant cannons, <laughs> like uh, medieval battle scene, <laughs> medieval <laughs> battle scene, like things like we 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 actually had this conversation with uh, with, with uh, uh, Colin Brunton, who was our line producer. We said, uh, like, so can we get a monkey? He's like, I'll look into it. Like that's. <laughs> The conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he came back and he was yeah. 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 like, "Yeah, cool." Or for yeah. He even tried to get us these. He came back going, "What do you And I found your price for an elephant. Yeah. 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 I don't need the elephant. I was like, "Okay, but just so you know." Just in case. Let me ask you this: Would you take a lemur? Or like, no. It has to be a monkey. These are the decisions we will die for. That's right. If I don't get him, I'll be in my trail. Yeah, exactly. Lemur. What kind of Mickey Mouse operation? So, so we have the real brothers and we have the fake brothers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Explain the premise of the show, since you're so enmeshed in it. I've been working on this. Got it, got it. Okay, the show, uh, it's about... Oh, no. It's I'm about... <laughs> it's about uh, two very different brothers who are brought, who are reunited by their father's passing. And uh, they're forced to work together to save the family comic book shop amidst the chaos of this crappy strip mall. Mm -hmm. Right? That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Okay. Oh, and it's hilarious. And, and it's hilarious. Yeah, and it's yeah. hilarious. Hilarity ensues. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Lockery, sir. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well known mm -hmm. as the world's leading improviser. So, is there a chance? Is there a chance to to use that that skill on this show, or are you pretty? Well, much I, I don't straight? think uh, you have to. I mean, usually when I'm on uh, a set and. Uh, so when you improvise, usually there's a problem with the scene or something. But we never had that. Every scene is so uh, beautifully crafted and written by those guys. There is kind of a, a looseness, but I don't recall any like direct improvising. There's, a, there's a, well, you know, there's lots of stuff that you add, that you always added something. You could always yeah. put a little English you know, on it. A little English on it. Yeah. <laughs> or, or if, if we're at a place where we've got one we love, when someone will come out and say, "Hey, anyone got an idea of how to yeah. do something again?" But no, we, we, again, we are at such a commanding pace that. We lucked out. The entire cast was hitting everything the whole way. Oh, such a great cast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the Couldn't cast is wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, and Paul's pretty good. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is, a, this is a fun character for you to play. Tell us a little bit about this. Uh, uh, yes, Paul is the uh, security guard of the mall who may not actually have been hired to do that job. <laughs> uh, he lives in the van in the parking lot uh, and uh, feels, I, I, I think. Um, Quite fatherly, because I actually could have sired every character in the uh, and show. And in fact, did. <laughs> um, I don't like to brag. <laughs> Season five spoilers. And, and you know what? I, I love the fact that uh, you know the younger guys are doing all the heavy lifting. I can just come in. I had the one uh, costume, which I love. One piece of wardrobe, because I hate. One of my pet peeves about doing shows is having to change. <laughs> so it's nice. I have this one. I, 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 once I had to be a shepherd, uh, but aside from that, again, just working uh, with the cat. I mean, I knew Lauren from uh, Second City, City, and we'd worked together, uh, so it was great to do that. And uh, meeting Paul was. It was one of those. Um, I'm, I, I found since I turned 82. That, uh, <laughs> I like to. You look uh, great, by the way. Oh, yeah, work out a little. Yeah. <laughs> um, my my major thing now when I do projects is is it going to be fun and. Uh, 
contributes to the cast. And uh, couldn't ask for anything better than this. Everyone uh, straight across, not only uh, wonderful in what they do, but just great people. We had a lot of fun. It was almost immediately you get into that where you're just making fun of each other's penis. And, uh, <laughs> not immediately. Not immediately. <laughs> and the girls didn't quite We took get a chance it. encounter in the men's laundry before that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Still. It yeah. happened fairly quick. It was. <laughs> Um, this is an, a, a great change of pace for you, Mr. Rice. Yes, I'm quite uh, delighted to be working with these ladies and, and, and doing scripted and all the things. It's just a dream come true, honestly. And again, for, for the three people who, who aren't familiar with uh, your background, they come out of Kenny versus Spain, usually successful, internationally successful yes. show, where you were, you, were, you were the victim more often than not. Well, I was the honest guy against the Machiavellian character, so <laughs> yeah. I tend to get screwed quite yeah. a bit on that show. <laughs> but, 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 so here you are, you've, you've traded off Kenny for um, uh, these incredibly powerful women who beat the crap out of you. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's, that's the brand. <laughs> Curse for laughing, maniacal. <laughs> Uh, it, it, the, our, our fabulous characters, and I gotta say, they're, uh, I, of, of all the nightmare mothers that there have been on television, <laughs> she ranks right up there. Well, because she thinks she's a good person. <laughs> she thinks she's a good mother. In one of the other uh, episodes, she uh, she decides she's going to have an out of the closet party for me, <laughs> and I, I, of course, I, and I am gay, but she she thinks that I'm going to be a good bottom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you that? oh totally, and she. Wax is poetic about her vagina and one of them. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, she has her fallow. No, she has a fallow period. Where she, 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 she lets it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I remember the conversations with my own son. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Generally intimidated by women, or is that is it a um, I'm intimidated by life in general, uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the Sheila character was. Uh, more than I'd like to admit, based on my real mother, uh -huh. who was uh, who I love, and I want to be very clear about this. Yeah. There was nothing uh, horrible going on, uh, but she was extremely self-absorbed, and she would tell you to you know to your face. Uh, and I think with this with this particular character, and I think this is a character-driven show from all our points of view. Uh, you have you have a guy who's essentially rebelling against the the non-convention of his. Uh, of his mother and trying to embrace societal conventions, marriage, love, and all those things, and, and finding it extremely difficult, A, because he's inhabiting kind of a dark world, and B, uh, mostly because he never uh, developed the skills to actually attain those things, because, <laughs> you know, yeah. 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 she's talking about her vagina, she's not, te she's not now, teaching me how to Where does this woman come from for you? Because you're a great mom. I am, but you know, as you said, we are our personas, and for some reason, this is who I've become as an actor. <laughs> and so it's just, I do understand self-absorbed mm -hmm. people, and I've had my moments, like you were saying about the rage. When I was younger, you do, you draw in that period of your life where it was all about you, and I remember that, and it's easy. And as I was saying earlier, she thinks she's right. And she's almost a little embarrassed that Spenny is a straight arrow. Mm -hmm. This is not how she brought him up. Yeah. You know, the hedonistic life is what she expected. Yeah. And um, I, I do look at it that she's a little, well, if you're going to get engaged, yeah, for God's sake, keep it to yourself. <laughs> you know, it's like she's embarrassed by it yeah. because she is a... You know, she bites into life, mm -hmm. and I think she, I think she actually thinks, what did I do wrong? Not in terms of her behavior, mm -hmm. but how could I have been such a great mother, given him all these opportunities, and he turns out.